Bitcoin mining is crazy. So am I. This is also something I'm going to show you today. You could have made more money with Bitcoin mining without ever even Bitcoin mining. And it's not some kind of weird scam or some nonsense. It's, it's hard facts data. And actually, a lot of it would even be insured by the government. So my name is Vosker on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today, we're going to go over the uh, latest news, data, facts, and everything else in between on Bitcoin mining and how this stuff just kind of impacts not only Bitcoin miners, but Bitcoin investors and really people in the crypto ecosystem at large. Let's dig into it. Let's start with electricity rates. Per Luxor, they made us this pretty little chart. Well, they made it for themselves and we took it. Average industrial rate, 2022 versus 2021 per megawatt hour. I'll explain a little bit more what a megawatt hour is here in a second, but data is data, right? And we can see some big increases. So I'm in Virginia, up $79 per megawatt hour. Megawatt hour going from $65 to $79 dollars just in one year like some of these increases are insane unprecedented uh specifically georgia a major bitcoin mining hub is significantly bumped up and it's even pushing them into a different color on this scale then you have north carolina and south carolina holding up pretty well respectively but uh the greenest state of all is ironically the greenest state of all washington largely due to hydropower. And that has really been impacted the least. When we look at the breakdown state by state by state, uh, they took the same interesting note here. One of the most popular Bitcoin mining states, Georgia, saw the most significant price increase. This surge is 43%. That's a 43% jump, but they're trying to act like inflation is transitory, then, it, then it's good for us, then, then it's not true, and then it's just insane. For this to inflate 43%, do you think Bitcoin miners or anyone else in Georgia was like, yeah, I don't know, my electric rate probably gonna go up 43% over the next year. Wow, we all need to start building our own little mini nuclear reactors. Uh, actually, I can't advise that one. Plus, this is not financial advice. Maybe solar panels would be a better bet for all of us right now. This is also, most notably, a significant contributor to Core Scientific's bankruptcy. We toured multiple Bitcoin mining farms. In Georgia, Core Scientific's Dalton facility being one of them. Crazy. So if you have a Bitmain Amp Miner S19, which would probably be like the de facto standard, more or less, kind of aging out at this point, uh, but Bitcoin miner, it's an ASIC miner. It looks like this. It's an application specific integrated circuit miner. It's got these purpose built chips in it, right? It, it's a custom computer for Bitcoin mining. And uh, each ASIC miner is different. They mine different algorithms. Of course, Bitcoin is SHA-256. A S19 burns about 72 kilowatt hours a day. That turns out to about 2160 kilowatt hours per month which translates to about 2.16 megawatt hours. So to give you some perspective, right? Let's just times it by two, right? So you look at running a miner for a month, we're looking at over $160 in Virginia. You go to Washington, you're moving more towards plus $120. You go to California, that thing's gonna cost about $400 a month to run. Oh, hell no. Remember, that chart specifically is an industrial rate. Uh, at residential rates, it'll be even more. So this is the interesting factor in how this plays into all of these bumps up in costs, right? So we look at electricity mix. We've got a little chart down at the bottom. Virginia, surprising amount of nuclear. Shout out to Lake Anna, hope you don't have a meltdown. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nuclear uh, really is the best energy source, in my opinion, for my data moving forward. But um, yeah, it does have the risk of catastrophic failure, but they have a lot of fail safes in place. And at the end of the day, if they're gonna make everything consume more and more electricity like our vehicles, even if they're efficient, we, we have much higher just consumption, smart homes, smart cars, smart everything. Um, we're gonna need better electricity rates or we're all just gonna be working to pay the electric bill. Good time to be someone like your electric company. That's for sure. Definitely take a screenshot, zoom in and check out your own state. Uh, most notably, we have Washington here with almost 
75% of their electricity being generated through hydro. Then we have Hawaii, a notably light blue card here. So is petroleum the way to go? You probably didn't even notice Hawaii in the last chart. Um, no, they have the worst electricity rates by very, very far. We can safely stay away from that one. Unless data is pulled from hash rate index and Luxor, make sure to check them out. I'll drop a link out to them uh, down in the video description below. So moving forward, most profitable miners of the time of recording this video. This is calculated at 12 cents per kilowatt hour on your electricity rate. Basically a good residential electric rate these days. Sad to say that. Used to be an expensive one. So a lot of these miners real profitable if you have it. Some of them are new and that profitability likely to go down some, but 45 bucks a day, 28 bucks a day, 17 bucks a day. And that one's mining Dogecoin, Litecoin, which is a top 10 cryptocurrency to put that into perspective. But what you will notice is there are only two Bitcoin miners hitting this chart at residential electric rates. And they are two of the most efficient Bitcoin miners. This is the S19 Hydro. Yes, it's here. Yes, it's profitable. No, this is not for your home. This is not a plug and play mining rig. Make sure you understand that one. If you want to grab a mining rig and you want some money off, head over to Coin Mining Central. They didn't sponsor this video or anything, but they do help us source miners. And they also helped us give away 10 freaking mining rigs last month. Should we do it again? Well, if you don't support them, then they won't do it again. Bitcoin mining is really cool, but to be honest, it's loud. The devices are expensive. And there are some pretty interesting alternatives. Like I'm earning $60 a month in passive income after my electricity bill using this hard drive miner. It's small, barely any heat or noise, and it's profitable. Check it out with the link down below and save some money by using our coupon code BOSSCOIN. Looking at this Bitcoin mining profitability chart, taking a more industrial look at it, we got the S19 XP pulling $5.9 if you're only paying seven cents per kilowatt hour. What's modern M50, S19J Pro, we look at those, we go down the list, three bucks, 30 cents, two dollars and 90 cents. I mean, it's not all that crazy profitable to be mining Bitcoin right now, even if you got a good electricity rate. That's because we just hit a new all time high in mining hash rate, as well as difficulty. It's bumped down some since then. And as Bitcoin has rebounded some in price, Bitcoin miners have started to become a little more expensive again. You can trade Bitcoin miners just as much as you trade Bitcoin, if not more. I always look at eBay and see what miners go for in there because they give a really good just kind of insight into the retail side of Bitcoin mining, average person, smaller players, stuff like that. So you can grab a pretty good Bitcoin miner right now. $2,300 shipped in the United States. It's S19J Pro 104 terahash second version. Here's one less efficient, buy it now, $1,650. This is pre-owned, looks clean just from this zoomed out picture. The above one was new. Keep in mind there are plenty of new miners as well as used miners here on eBay. So I'll drop an affiliate link down below if you do want to grab any of them. Really appreciate it when you guys support the channel. Of course, you can go to Bitmain directly and buy one. You do have to KYC with them and you will have to pay tariffs, import duties, which is pretty expensive for these devices. Uh, but they did just drop their latest version with the most awful name yet, the S19J Pro Plus. Yep. Yeah, I hope you remember that one among all the other weird naming uh, infrastructure conventions here. But anyway, that one's 2,684. They've been surprisingly just cranking out these S19 Pros, not their most efficient version again, uh, right under $2,000. Here's where the real play to make money in Bitcoin and crypto and Bitcoin mining surprisingly was, as long as you didn't pick the one that went bankrupt, Riot, Hut, Bitfarms, Mara, CleanSpark, right? These stocks are running a marathon. Yeah, being up 137%, wow, that's year to date. Granted, this year hasn't been all that long yet. It is pretty interesting. And if we compare that to the Bitcoin 10 year return chart, as it currently stands, that's a pretty good annual return for Bitcoin or something Bitcoin related. 2021% return, 90. 2019, 95. 2016, 125. 2015, 35. 2017, 
1331 <clears> percent 2020 301 percent last year minus 81 so I will say what's very interesting is that Bitcoin has not had a year-to-date negative return two years in a row ever. Only three negative years, all the following year of a massive bull run and huge return spike in the price. Again, 2013, 5,500%. Crazy. And it even had the the least drawdown the next year, uh, you know, percentage-wise comparatively. While I don't recommend compass mining, they still are afloat. And this article they have really goes in line with what we we're just talking about. BitF, one of those publicly traded Bitcoin stocks, which remember, you can trade that in all the stock apps like Robinhood and whatever else and have some insurance on your cash sitting in there and uh, basically just get away to have crypto exposure without a centralized cryptocurrency exchange and not having to custody your own coins. Interesting, it's not financial advice. So BitFarm's BitF ended 2022 on a high note, mining 496 Bitcoin in December. In that year, they mined a total of 5,167 Bitcoins. They were consistently a top three miner every month. And when you consider the amount of Bitcoin mined by Exahash a second, year over year, they grew 50% in terms of Bitcoin mined. 3,453 Bitcoin achieved in 2021, or really minted. Only three miners mined over 5,000 Bitcoin in the last year. Core Scientific, filed for bankruptcy, Riot, and BitFarms. As always, Bitcoin mining is crazy, and so am I. You're on the Viscoin YouTube channel, which is not just home of this crazy guy doing this crypto stuff. <laughs> continually working towards building out our own mining farm trying to get everything situated we're really going to be energizing all this stuff over the next month which is very very exciting but there is someone way cooler than me here yeah alexa miss Vosk probably be that too but there's someone who outranks us all in this hierarchy and that's going to be tails our cbo our chief bitcoin officer here at the Voscoin youtube channel hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please subscribe Stick around, join our Discord server, hang out with us on our forum, Boss Coin Talk. And uh, seriously, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.